Our next young choir captivated audiences in the UK two years ago. Well, the Fazeka High School Choir are back on home turf in Cape Town. Here they are with one of the great African-American spirituals. During the apartheid era, in every aspect of life, the country's majority black population were treated as second-class citizens. Opponents of the white government were forced into exile, or, like Nelson Mandela, were sent to Robben Island prison. The island lies six miles from Cape Town, and conditions in its prison were brutal. We could write one letter home in one year and receive one letter back and then we could receive one visit a year. As well as enduring almost complete isolation, political prisoners were forced to work in the island's quarry. But amazingly, it was here where you could also find one of the most unusual football leagues in the world. I think sport helped people to look past the miseries of their life, and therefore it made for a tremendous camaraderie amongst, amongst ourselves. So yes, um, so this was good. Uh, we played it whenever we got a, uh, an opportunity, we, we would play uh, uh, soccer. We would play a league type of competition and some team or the other would be crowned uh, the champions and we make do with uh, whatever the food we had and so on to give some kind of prize. The history of South Africa will never After be South Africa's again. first democratic elections in 1994, Mosiwa Lakota went on to hold high office, serving over nine years as Minister of Defence. So did playing football on Robben Island inspire him? It's more than just kicking a leather there. There are rules, there's approach to this, there's uh, techniques of how to deal with conflict resolution. There's all kinds of techniques in administration how to manage affairs, how to keep people together, how to put them in there and let them contest and therefore burn the tensions and the energies away and after that, shake hands. For those banished to Robin Island, football gave hope in the face of racial hatred. So did singing. Our next song, Senzani Na, was an anthem for the suffering black majority during apartheid. The words ask, what have we done? Our only sin is being black. It may sound familiar to some of my compatriots, because it's sung to a Welsh hymn tune. 
Sono se tu, sono se tu.